Federal investigators are looking at new clues about the final moments of the helicopter flight that ended in tragedy for nine people, including Kobe Bryant. Newly surfaced video taken not long before the crash appears to show the aircraft in mid-flight before it ran into very serious trouble. Our transportation correspondent, that's Chris Van Cleve, is in Calabasas, California. Chris, it's so hard to look at this video. What are investigators learning? Well, Gail, good morning. The real hard work of this investigation really just beginning. We do know the helicopter did not have a terrain avoidance warning system or a black box. It wasn't required to have either of those, but it does make it a little bit more challenging for investigators. They have recovered an iPad that may have belonged to the pilot and a cell phone at the scene. They are going to go through those. They also found maintenance records from the helicopter in the wreckage. Those are being analyzed. But the big question, why did the helicopter fall from the sky, remains a mystery. Minutes from disaster. New cell phone video appears to show Kobe Bryant's helicopter circling near Burbank Airport before the crash. Tuesday, the NTSB used a helicopter to airlift the wreckage off the hillside. The coroner says all nine victims have now been recovered and four have been positively identified, including Kobe Bryant. This was a high energy impact crash. About 35 minutes after takeoff, with the weather deteriorating, pilot Aro Zabayan asked controllers to track him on radar, but he was flying too low. Four minutes later, he radioed he was going to go above the layer of clouds. Flying in potentially blinding fog, he reached 2,300 feet. In its final 12 seconds of flight, the helicopter banked left and abruptly descended, falling at up to 5,000 feet per minute. Its last recorded speed, about 184 miles per hour. Do you have a sense if the helicopter came down all in one piece, or is there evidence that it perhaps broke up as it was coming down? Preliminary information is that the helicopter was in one piece when it impacted the terrain. And they were only a few minutes flight away from their destination, the Camarillo Airport, here at the crash scene. One thing that came up at the press conference that's getting a lot of buzz was this, this idea that they were 25, 30 feet from clearing a ridge. Uh, the area where the crash happened is a series of ridges and ravines, and the, the rate at which they were coming down, that helicopter was going to crash, whether it cleared that ridge uh, or not. Oh. Anthony? All right, Chris, thanks.